hello. I just wanted to say that what if there was no wrong way to live? What if how we're living right now or how we are existing right now is going to create that space in the future for your future self to manifest? As in like, what if right now you're doing everything right? Maybe you could get better grades. Maybe you could get more money. Maybe you could blank. Maybe you could blank. Maybe you could, but you're not. What if you are experiencing what you need to experience right now in these places where you might not feel comfortable? What if you're here for your future self? What if you feel pain and grief for a reason that is bigger than ourselves? I think that I hold my universe inside of me, as in I know myself and I've lived in my, my body for how long and the universe, how I see the world is my only reality. How you see the world is your own reality, but our realities will never be the same. If we trust the universe, maybe we're trusting ourselves. And I think I'm just coming into this, this place where I am trusting myself more and more every day. And trusting myself does not mean reacting to my external within five seconds. I think trusting myself is breathing and staying calm and knowing that I cannot control the world outside of me, but I trust myself enough that whatever comes my way, I will be able to deal with that in the way that serves me and where my heart is at. So I'm not putting any pressure on the world to become something because I need to become that thing before the world does. And that thing needs to manifest in different ways. I'm getting pretty spiritual here. I'm usually, I'm not religious. I'm not, I don't carry a specific uh, identity that relates to one specific God, but I do believe that the self is the most powerful entity or being in our lives. Um, only you know what you need and want, and you know how to get it for yourself. This does not mean reacting. This does not mean impulsive. This does not mean short little bursts of dopamine. Something that talks to our soul, I think, is going to be daily in our long term. Something that we need to do for our soul is going to pay off in the long run because we're staying true to ourselves. And I think staying true to yourself is trusting yourself. Maybe you can get uncomfortable and put yourself into new situations because you trust yourself. And trusting yourself has got your back through thick and thin. If you can talk to yourself and know what you need and sit with yourself in silence and feel the change happening, that is very powerful. And I think that allows for that future self to manifest and create and be and become. And you know the quote, no one knows you better than yourself or trust yourself, trust your instincts. I think that is true, but I think it's deeper than that. I think once you connect to yourself and ask why you feel this way or why you think this way or what is happening, when you put energy or attention or focus on a specific part of your life, what do you need in that moment? Like, what are you searching for that's not just that thing? What does that thing symbolize? I think we attach to images or ideas or representations of something that we need for our emotions or our soul. 
It just depends where we're looking. And I think looking, for example, for love in specific ways can take you closer to yourself or further from yourself. You know, deep down, what intentions you have that are centered around you versus what intentions you have that are centered around other people. As in, are you doing this for you or are you doing this for other people? And what does that look like? How do you know that you are doing this for yourself? And are you doing it for yourself? Asking that frequently could create these, these pockets of how do I want to change and how do I not want to change? What do I want to keep doing? And what do I want to grow away from? We can never revisit something, someone, some activity, the same person. Once you repeat something, you are going to improve that. Your skills and your focus is going to grow mentally. You are what you put your energy towards, as in what you invest your time and attention in is going to be a big part of how you move through the world. So be careful, but know that you know where you need to put your attention. If something is pulling you and you have no idea why, follow that. If you do know why, it sounds like a cycle, but you have no idea why something out of the ordinary or something new is feeling like it needs attention, go do that because it's something in your universe, in yourself, in your core that is telling you, you need to change and you need to go towards that. And like the quote says, you know yourself the best, you know what you need. No one can make the decisions for you, but how you feel day to day will shift. Where your attention and where you put your attention and what you act on creates a forward effect. You will never be the person you were yesterday and you will never be the person you are in the future. So where you are now is where you need to be. Whatever you're going through, you need to go through it to get to that future self. Because if not, that attention and that focus and this energy that might feel draining might be a distraction from where you need to be, which is right now. Trying to distract ourselves or get that dopamine hit or get these endorphins or get these, these addictions going doesn't allow us to get to the point of what our soul needs right away. It makes it prolonged. So what you need is what you know you need. But where you need to be is with yourself right now. This may look different for different people, but following what is calling you naturally is a big part of where you need to be in the future. Your future self needs you to be where you are now. Your past self is going to inform where you are now, but it does not determine where you will go. We bring back memories of the past because we are trying to deal with a feeling of the present. The past is not in our present when we reminisce. We are in our present dealing with what that memory symbolizes. So it is not the memory, it is not the people, it is what you are dealing with emotionally, mentally, what you're holding on to. That memory, that person, it's not them. It's the symbolization of what you need. It's something that your, your soul, your core, your universe needs. And it doesn't mean go back in time. It means what is that memory? What is that moment telling you to do? Where can you get what you don't have currently? Support, care, safety, love, independence. Using emotions as information towards what you need lets you be where you are now. Because if there is no wrong way to live, you're doing everything you need to be doing right now. The past might come back into your brain, but it's all for a reason. And it's all because you were dealing with the present self 
that needs those memories or needs that to think about where it needs to go. What are your memories? What are you recalling? What about your past is telling you where you need to go in the future? Because you are not that version of yourself. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing that you're thinking about these, these past versions of yourself and the way that you want to carry on going forward. That does not mean you want to bring that person back. It just means what do you need? You are here right now for your future self. You are experiencing these highs, these lows, the life thing, because you are here for your future self. So let what is coming up happen. Let your emotions happen. But know that this is a temporary feeling or know that this is a temporary state of being because the future self will not be where you are now. So enjoy this moment for what it is, because you're not going to get it back. The circumstances, the feelings, all of the things that are happening to you right now, you're not going to get them back.